Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Esu. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about things that I did to be able to speak English without living in any English speaking countries. Okay guys, let's start today's video. First thing that I did was I surrounded myself with English. How could I surround myself with English when nobody speaks English in my city, in my village? Hmm. This is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I'm gonna be talking about this in this video. So, the very first change, a simple change that I made was I changed my phone settings into English. Well, it's just like very simple, right? So this is like the small change that I did in the past. By changing your phone settings into English, whenever you look at your phone, you will see like some applications and some apps in English. And also you will receive some messages in English, which I think is great. This is the thing that I did in the past. The very first thing that I did to surround myself with English. So this is just like a simple thing. So let's talk about all the things that I did in the past. I want to talk about listening because listening is very helpful. This is how kids learn their native language, their mother tongue, right? When they were kids, they listened to their parents speaking and then they trying to speak. So listening is very important when it comes to learning a language. You guys could listen to podcasts, or something like audiobook, which you guys like the most. You guys can also listen to maybe something like traveling podcasts or some podcasts about things that you guys are interested in. Maybe about makeup, for example, if you are gay, if you are boy, if you are interested in this, you guys can listen to it in English. For me, I love listening to podcasts about different topics, for example, traveling, science, a lot of things, of course. So it's good to listen to podcasts which are about different things, so you guys can learn different vocabulary about different topics. Listening can give you a lot of benefits. For example, when you are listening, you are learning a lot of things, you are picking up the vocabulary while you are listening in English, while you are listening a podcast. If you are a person who is not very familiar with English language, by listening, it will be able to help you become more familiar with English. Yes, listening is helpful and can give you a lot of benefits. So you guys can start listening to the things that you guys like, for example, podcasts, as I told you guys before. Then after listening, what could I do to be able to speak English? or to be able to master English language by living in my country. Hmm. I want to talk about speaking. Speaking is also important just like listening. If you want to communicate with people from all over the world, you need to speak English. If you want to speak English, you need to speak, practice, practice, practice. So, if you are a person who has friends who practice your English, where well, it is good for you. If you are kind of afraid to talk to people, to interact with people, well, don't be afraid. A lot of people, like me, in the past two years ago, I was afraid to talk to strangers, to talk to foreigners in English. If you guys are also struggling with this right now, overcome the fear of making mistakes, don't afraid to make mistakes because it is part of your journey, it is part of your language learning journey. So don't afraid to make mistakes, just go for it, talk to them in English, just have fun. This is what I want to say to those people who are watching this video or kind of like afraid to speak and interact with native speakers so don't forget to make mistakes it's okay to make mistakes learn from your mistakes speak and practice if you don't have any partners to practice your english with you can just talk to yourself you can record yourself recording talking to yourself well this is what i'm gonna be talking about in this video later in the video okay guys speaking listening we talked about these two things another thing that i want to talk about is reading 
it helped me a lot with my vocabulary to improve my grammar and to be able to become more familiar with English so when you are reading you are learning a lot of things you are learning grammar you are learning vocabulary so that was a book that I read maybe like one year ago it is called the legend of Myanmar I don't have this book right now with me because I borrowed it from the library and the legend of Myanmar it is the book that I read for six months it took me six months I note down a lot of vocabulary in my book it was a great book it was like the history of Myanmar and the things that happened in my country Myanmar and there were like some stories which are pretty interesting and I read the entire book so if you guys are also interested in reading it is good for you that was like uh, kind of like podcasts that I listened to it is called the magic tree house so there are a lot of books about this the magic tree house we only had podcasts so I decided to listen to the podcasts but reading the magic tree house it is fun so if you guys have books the magic tree house books well it is also good you can read them in English if you're interested in magic you guys can read Harry Potter I read a lot of books in the past most of them are stories in English so if you guys are interested in stories you guys can read them in English to improve your reading skills your vocabulary your grammar and to become more familiar with English okay guys let's go to the next one so the next thing that we're gonna be talking about is writing if you guys have a notebook where you usually write down something else for example the things that you are going to do in your day or the things that you did or special things that happened to you during your day you guys can write them down in your notebook in English instead of your native language you guys can use English you guys can also write like stories in English if you like by using the vocabulary that you learned by watching a video or by listening to a podcast well guys right now let's talk about recording and talking to yourself in English I want to talk about recording because it is really helpful when it comes to improving your accent your pronunciation and your grammar so for me I usually record myself I talk about a lot of things, maybe about the things that happened to me during my day or about the things that I am going to do in my day. You guys can start by recording about the things that you guys do every single day, your daily routine. Because it is the things that you do every single day, so you will be able to organize your thoughts and then talk about this easily. So when you first started recording yourself, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable because you have to talk for 5 minutes or 10 minutes but by recording, there are a lot of benefits that you can get For example, it can help you to become more confident about your English skills If you don't have anyone to practice your English with or if you don't have friends to practice your English you guys can record yourself in English, you guys can talk to yourself, you guys can record yourself. If you guys are afraid to talk to people, like when we talked about speaking, I tell you guys about interacting with people, strangers and native speakers. If you guys are afraid to talk to them, well, you guys can record yourself first and then after you become more and more confident about your English you guys can talk to them in English if you become more comfortable about speaking you guys can talk to them or interact with them in English so this is what I did in the past things that I shared in this video are the kind of things that I did in the past which you guys can also do if you guys are living in a country where nobody speaks English you guys can use the tips that I shared in this video to surround yourself with English. Okay guys, I hope this video is helpful for you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!